Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my Yesterday movie review. Uh, Yesterday was directed by Danny Boyle, stars Hamish Patel and Lily James. Um, and if I had to describe this movie in one word, it would be happy. It's a, it's a happy movie. Uh, I will say, I think... I'm not a Beatles fan. Um, this movie is about a guy who has an accident, and when he wakes up, he's in a world where nobody remembers the Beatles, or nobody knows the Beatles. The band never existed. But he has retained his memory of the Beatles and all their songs, and just so happens that he is a musician who is struggling and on the verge of giving up. So he takes her songs and becomes a star. It does explore the moral dilemma of can you live with yourself knowing that you, deep down you're sort of a fraud? Um, will you deny the world the Beatles music? Um, I, I think they do a good job of addressing that. There's also a love story in there, which at times they make some decisions that don't seem very rational, but that's okay. I loved Lily James in this, and this guy, Hamish Patel, I've never seen him before. Um, I thought he did a superb, uh, superb job. I liked him. Um, Lily James, more and more, man, I'm beginning to really like her. I loved her in Baby Driver, and she just epitomizes the word cute. She has that girl next door kind of look, um, the type of girl you would marry, right? You marry cute. And also, uh, I think officially now I'm a Danny Boyle fan. So I looked him up. There's a bunch of movies of his that I've liked, and, and including a Best Picture winner, Slumdog Millionaire, 28 Days, which, in my opinion, is the best zombie movie of all time, in my opinion. Um, 127 hours, all great, and I, I really like this one. Again, I, I'm not a big Beatles fan. Um, I want to say that if you're a Beatles fan, you're going to like this, but I'm not a Beatles fan, so maybe I won't know. I don't know. Um, what I will say is, um, so my, my parents were Beatles fans. I have always felt they're a little overrated. I'm more of like a Metallica Nirvana guy. That was my generation. Um, I did, it, it made me want to go and like listen to the Beatles. And I did. Like, uh, I know there's a couple of people that have said that. Um, I, when I put on YouTube, and it's like, yeah, you know, some of these songs are good, but it, it's just not, you know, it's kind of worn off now. Um, <clears throat> it's not a perfect movie. If I had to rate it on the Star Strider scale, I would give it a 79, which is about a B. Plus. Um, I do recommend going to see this movie. It was a nice change of pace from the big blockbusters. It has great le you know what no I'm gonna give this an 83 I changed the score because there were a lot of really fantastic laughs the acting is good and th this guy I hope I see him in more stuff this Hamish Patel guy it didn't pander um, certain things um, that they easily could have um, he's just a guy um, it's a very interesting concept actually and I always thought like even when I was little because I I, I, I was a musician too at one point. I've kind of given up playing music now, um, but I was in bands. I was in several bands. I put out some EPs. I went on tour. I opened up for some acts that I was a huge fan of. And, um, you know, I always kind of thought, you know, what if, you know, Metallica never existed, but only I knew the songs? What if Nirvana never did? Because I was like, man, these songs aren't hard to play. You know, but playing a song and writing a song are two completely different things. Um, there's a guy in there. Um, Hid Sheeran or something. This this goes to show how out of touch I am. I had no idea who the guy is. I think I heard the name, but I didn't know what he looked like or who he was. I, I just don't know. Um, I think you will like this if you're a Beatles fan. Um, so I, I would say go see this movie if you're a movie person. Um, you know, even if you're not, this if you only go see one, eh, this might be the one. Um... Yeah, if, if you're a fan of music in general, I, I like the story. There's something they do at the end I didn't like. It was kind of cheesy. You know what? 82 <laughs> because of that predictable, cheesy ending. But um, other than that, yeah, man, I, I really dug it. So uh, check it out. Did you guys see it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know. Leave your comments below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye.